Game here, coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com, offer of Love Can Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. So today, man, I'm talking about how do you get the top-notch quality girls? What's the fastest way to do that? Is there a fast way to even accomplish this task? You know, I, I get questions like this all the time people want to know how do I get the baddest chick the baddest broads the hottest chicks you know how do I get the bad how do I get the baddest chicks in the build you know and I always say man it's 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 really no way no easy way around it really you're gonna have to just put in the work you have to be able to you have to put most of the focus on yourself. You got to build yourself up first, you know, and it, it, it's many aspects of who you are as a man, more than likely, you know, maybe you want to work out. Maybe you want to lose weight. Maybe you want to get in shape. Maybe you want to get more education. Maybe you want to um, focus more on acquiring a certain skill set. Maybe you want to focus on making more money I don't know what it is but whatever it is you're gonna have to focus more on you and what's gonna happen is once you become a better person you're going to walk out into the world and any in so any in, in, in any in so any social environment that you may might be whether it's your job Wherever you at the bar, wherever you at the club, wherever you at the conference, and regardless of where you at, you're gonna radiate a certain type of energy, and you're going to attract certain people, and you're going to repel certain people, and that's what it is. See, no one tells you that, you know, is once you become a better version of yourself once you become a better version of who you already are I mean, you know most people don't tell you that some people some women are not going to they're not trying they're not going to be able to uh fuck with you they they're not going to they some of these women are going to be turned off or some of them going to feel like uncomfortable being around you because they're going to feel like they can't measure up to your standards. So see, you gotta have some standards about yourself. It has to be things that you just can't tolerate. Like for example, there's certain things uh, um, that I don't necessarily put up with. Like for example, um, I might, let's say um, I meet a girl I, we exchange phone numbers, so she'll call me, text me, whatever, and said, and then I would, and then I'll be like, hey, what are you, what are you doing over the weekend? You going out of town? She be like, no, nah, I'm not going out of town. So I say, oh, she's like, uh, so I say, hey, maybe we should meet up. She said, yeah, that'll be cool, that'll be nice. I'm open, right? So she said she's open now. So another day or two goes by. I call her or text her or say, hey, let's meet up. I don't know. Let's meet up Friday, Saturday, one of these days. She'll say, what, what time? And I'll give her the time. And then she's like, oh, I got to take a rain check. Something came up. You know, um, we, we have to get up another time. See, I don't like stuff like that. I don't like that. I don't like that's kind of like double talking first you told me you were open which you know I, I took that as okay you're you know you down to meet up but when I tell her the day and the time to meet up all of a sudden she got something else to do see I don't I don't like that now I, I'm not gonna tell her that but over over uh, over time I would just filter I'll let people like that go. I'll cut them off. You know, let me tell you something else I don't like. I don't like when, um, you you know, this happens a lot. A lot of people do this all the time. A lot of people 
women they, I think women probably do I think women probably do this more than guys but they'll say oh I'm gonna be at the meeting I'm gonna be at the conference they'll tell you where they're gonna be in advance but I don't think they're really serious they are just saying it because it sounds good but they don't have the intent of being there so they'll tell you that they're gonna be there I'll see you there right so I'll be like, oh, if, if you're gonna be there, okay, maybe I should go. And on that day, or maybe at that, at the time of, at, of the meeting or the conference, they're not there. I don't like stuff like that. I don't like that. You know, if you're not gonna come, just say you're not gonna come. If you're not sure, just say you're not sure. I just don't like when people do stuff like that. I don't like when people tell me they're gonna do something or they're down to do something and they just don't don't go through with it and, and then if you see them and if you say something to them about it they'll be like oh yeah i couldn't make it or whatever you know i say well how come you didn't call me and then you know they'll be like oh i got so busy blah blah are you that busy until you can't make a a one minute phone call i'm not worth one minute <laughs> see, i don't like stuff like that and i mean it's something else i don't like if I remember one day I was uh this happened like this happened a couple of years ago, you know. And I never went out with her this woman again. I never you know, I never asked her to come out ever again. She she called me out. Actually, um I uh I told her a day before, hey that's meet up at Fridays, right? And she said, Oh, okay, that's cool. What time? I said, Yeah, I'll Let's meet up like six o'clock. And I said, have anything changed? You know, let me know. And then I said, better yet, um, I'll, re I'll, I'll call you two hours in it before the time that we're supposed to meet up. She said, all right, cool, bet. So, you know, uh, so everything went as planned, you know. So we met up at six at Fridays. And probably like 10 minutes 15 15 minutes after she arrived she got a phone call from somebody I think it was her daughter her daughter said hey your cousin um, is here and they want to see you right so now 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 so this ain't no out-of-town cousin this is a cousin that just be around the way they live in the same town as we, as us, right? So this ain't her mom. This ain't this ain't no emergency. This ain't nobody sick. Um, this ain't her dad, her parents, anybody. This ain't, this ain't her son. Her. This is just some people came over to the house. So she was like, "Hey, I got to go." So I like, oh, okay. So I've never asked her ever to come out again. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> so I, no, I waste. Now I took the time to come out. You know, drove down here the, the Fridays, and as soon as you get a phone call from your cousin saying that hey, I'm at your house. You need to come. I want to come see you. I'm like, what? Oh no. Now. Look, now you might think I'm being a little, uh, I don't know, going a little too far with it. But look, if this was her parents, grandparents, her kids, husband, or whatever, I understand that. Totally understand. If it's an emergency, I totally understand. But that wasn't the case at all. It was just some random cousin, not even a, not even a close cousin. I came over to her house, the daughter called and said, Hey, they want to see you. But they live in the same they live in the same town as us. They not coming from out of town. Nothing. She they could see she could have seen them tomorrow. So she left fifteen minutes after she came we met at Fridays. I never call them back again. I never invited her out again. Never. I don't like that. It's just certain things I just don't tolerate. You know, I don't I don't I don't like that. 
you know that told me a lot that told me where I stood with her that day maybe she didn't see it that way and that's fine you know I have my own standards I have my own way of living it's my life my show you know so you have to be, you have to have your own rules you know and if 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 people come into your life in your circle and if they're not willing to abide by your own rules well, you need to let them go I mean if you if you come if you let them dictate to you how they want things to go to you they'll drop you too <laughs> more than likely if, if the shoes on another foot they drop you too they'd, they'd be like hey I don't appreciate this and appreciate that if you let them take the lead so hey we all have to live our, our own lives nobody's gonna live it for you so you have to have your own standards you have to have your own rules and I always say you are the prize not the other way around I know there's a lot of confusion in society I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of these institutions and and, and and a lot of people have put women on the pedestal because of political reasons I understand all of that but the reality is you are the prize yeah women mature faster but we last longer and we catch up <laughs> so hey once you come into that realization and once you work on yourself and working on yourself is is it's a it's a learning process it's an ongoing process it does, it's not like going to college and then you graduate no this is for life this has to become a lifestyle personal development has to become a lifestyle for you this ain't no goddamn session or no damn talk show or, or no or no two two year college no this has to become a lifestyle and the more you become the better women the better quality of women that you attract because you get what you are you don't get what you want and I talk a, a lot about this in my best-selling book love can't wait which can be found on amazon.com and I talk about a lot of these principles and concepts on my patreon patreon.com forward slash sharp game and on my brand new membership site badboysecretsclub.com I talk about a lot of these concepts a lot of these principles that have helped me and thousands of other guys you know and I get feedback and I get uh, reviews from people all the time I get emails from people all the time talking about what I said and, and, and what I wrote written in my books had such a, a big a huge impact on them and some of these people will read the book a couple times and they'll haul ass and I never see them again and that's good I like that and then you got some people that will read the book haul ass and they'll come back and tell me what happened and they say, hey, yo, your book, Love Can't Wait, is like the Bible to me, yo. I read it all the time, even if, even if it's one page. So I talk about a lot of these concepts on, on at the badboysecretsclub.com. Go there. Read all, read all about it. Don't wait. You know what I'm saying? Read all about it. There's three levels to the game over there. You know? So, hey. If you like what you heard, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Go to love. Go to badboysecretsclub.com and subscribe. Get all that game. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.